What is up, High Level Gaming? It's Snorlax891. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. In the last episode, we were exploring the town of Riverwood a bit. We did, like, one quest there, t helping, uh, Feindal and Sven get over their love triangle with Camilla Valerius. We, of course, chose our... chose Sven, our fellow Nord, to support. Uh, we then headed up here to Bleak Falls Barrow, which we are in the middle of clearing. And now we will continue on with that. So, I know there's a giant spider in the next room. Caligor doesn't know, but I know. So we will first cast Oak Flesh. Then get healing in our left hand. <clears throat> Jeez, we're only like 48 seconds in and I'm all already coughing. Um, this episode, by the way, is being recorded directly after the previous episode, if any of you care. Uh, I should probably start my episode timer this time. Because I did not do it last time. But then again, there is a little timer uh, right on my recording software, which shows me how long I've been going. But anyway, let's go in and trigger the giant spider. Ooh, sweet. Alteration increase since there's an... Ah! Help! An enemy. Take that, you butthole. Take frost. Eat frost! Back here. Oh, sweet. When I, that's one of the reasons I love frost, because when you spray it on the ground, if an enemy happens to walk over it, they will take damage from the residual frost effect. Ah, get out of the room. That was close. Yeah, I don't really, uh... I don't really use frost on my characters that often. Usually with me, it's like fire or lightning. Whoa, that was close. Um, which brings to mind the question, what is your guys' favorite uh, element to use in Skyrim? Do you like frost? Do you like fire? Do you like shock? Or is it like a combination of all three? Or uh, a combination of one, two, whatever? Yeah, what do you guys like to use? Um, put your answers in the comments, because I'd be interested to hear. Meanwhile, we'll just do some looting before we decide to free that butthole. Haha, <laughs> breaking random web. Oh, we freed him? Well, we're gonna kill him. Because he's a jerk and just runs off anyway. Caligor thought he was looking pretty shifty, so that's why he just decided to kill him. We will take the Golden Claw, we will take his journal, and we will move on forward. Okay. Grab this Soul Gem. Grab this gold. Ooh, what's in here? Watch it be like five, yeah, it's five gold. It's ridiculous how small amount, how they have such small amounts of loot in such huge urns like this. I mean, wouldn't you think it would be, like, filled to the brim with goodies? But no, it's just like, oh, three gold, oh, six gold and a ruby occasionally. It's kind of, it's kind of odd. But, no matter, loot is loot, no matter the type. <coughs> Excuse me. I know I said I'd have a drink with me this time, but... I kind of just jumped right into the next episode. Didn't feel like grabbing a, going upstairs and grabbing a drink and bringing it down yet. I will most likely have a drink with me the next episode. Uh, so I probably should. I probably won't be coughing as much. Hopefully. Oh man, does it feel good to be commentating again? I tell you guys, I went for. As you guys know, if you are, if you follow my channel. Um, uh, sometimes there are very, very substantial gaps in between, in between videos from me. So if you're still with me after all those gaps, I thank you from the bottom of my, um, my loot-filled urn. Yeah, let's go with that. I thank you from the bottom of my loot-filled urn. Is that creepy? Could that be considered sexual in some reason? In, for some reason? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. 
Meanwhile, we'll take these Draugr out as best we can. I know they're resistant to frost, but we are a frost mage, primarily. So, we will soldier on. Try not to, ow, get hit by the two-hander. Never mind, we got hit by the two-hander. Let's go see if we can use the trap against him. I know there's a trap coming up, and it would probably be fun to fun to use the, his own trap against him. Where you at? Where you at, you Draugr scum? And, uh, do you guys notice if my commentary gets, like, more energetic? I feel like it gets more energetic, like, the farther in I go. Like, I just recorded another episode of Skyrim, like, right before this, as you know. And I feel, like, super energized and excited and in the mood to play some Skyrim. Oh, take it! Get pwned. You Draugr scumbag. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I feel like super energized, and I feel like my commentary gets better and better, like, the longer I go. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, because I certainly do. And especially once I get uh, warmed up again after quite a while not making any commentary videos. When I get back into it after a few videos, uh... My voice is like velvet is soft, man. It's amazing. I just like spew out words at 10,000 words a minute. Like, like, super awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just rambling right now. But let's see if we can use the trap against this restless Draugr. Oh, yeah. I forgot he uses frost spells, too. Oh, we just missed. We just missed him with the, uh, with the trap. Let's try again. Whoa, that was close. I think we're gonna take a potion here. Take a couple potions. Yeah, we got him! But now it's a good opportunity to train up our restoration. As I said in the last episode, we're heavily- we're gonna focus heavily into restoration for Caligor. Uh, where does his body go? Because I would like to loot him. Probably got flung to some obscure corner of the earth. Oh, there he is. But yeah. So, let's continue on after that. Keeping our, keeping our restoration up, that's a good idea. What? Oh, yeah, that's right, we leveled up. So we are again going to put our point, our um, level up into Magicka. And unfortunately, there's nothing we can do in restoration right now. Wow, destruction's already at 25, and restoration's only at 16. Ugh, I think restoration is going to f fall a bit behind before we're, before we're through. But it'll catch up eventually. So I'm trying to decide between putting the perk into alteration or into conjuration. I don't think we're going to go into illusion quite yet. Or maybe we should go into alchemy. Let's see, what should we do? Uh, let's put it in alteration so we can cast our oak flesh for less. Speaking of oak flesh, let's armor up. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's much better than before. When it was using like a half our magicka bar to cast one oak flesh spell, you look alive. So let's frostbite the hell out of you. Uh. Die, you filthy Draugr bastards, die! Beware my power! Channeling a little barbell there, wow. Yeah, we missed that guy with the trap, too. We're gonna move on here. Try not to get smacked. Oh, he, like, walked around the trap again. Ah, I'm getting stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, jeez, I was stuck in between, like, two of them. Did we get one? No, we didn't get one. Ouch. A lot of running around in this episode. Oh god, my alteration is down. God, they keep walking like right next to the trap and not hitting it. 
Okay, it looks like we got one. Alright, there we go. We finished off the other one. So let's loot your corpses. Loot of victory! Yeah, I get our spoils. And anytime... Getting hurt like this is actually kind of good for me at this point because it allows us to train our restoration. And any any uh, any training of restoration we can do, we will take. Listen, uh, shouldn't there be like one more of these guys around? I don't know, but let's uh, let's get to looting. Let's take our well-deserved rewards from killing those three guys. And we will progress. Oh god, this will require a little bit of timing. Ready? Go! Yeah. Sometimes I get nicked by those blades going through. It's really annoying. Let's... Oh, I probably should have saved that and dropped that later. Ow. Actually, that helps, because <laughs> once again, it lets us do restoration training. Okay, let's pop oak flesh. Armor up! Put healing in our left hand. And let's go and wake some fuckers up. Oh god, that guy's got a two-hander. Stay away! Stay away! I don't want any of what you're selling. No thank you, sir. And two-handers, two-handers will really fuck you up in the early, uh, in the early game. If you're a mage wearing robes, you better watch out for two-handers, because they will fuck you the hell up. Light this guy on fire. Come on, you bastards. Walk through the flames. Come on. That's right, walk into the flames. Oh, God. Ow. See how much damage that guy did? Ow, that guy with the one-hander, not as much damage, but, uh, still damaging. Oh, he's probably gonna activate that trap, the fucker. Can't touch me. Do, 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 do. Ow, he touched me. I retract my previous statement, good sir. Yeah! Take that, using the traps like a boss. Using their own traps against them, alright. Meanwhile, before my health gets too, uh, too high again, increase resto. Excellent. Restoration at 17. That is a dead end. I knew that anyway, so why did I try? Alright, let's re uh, let's rearmor. Pop healing into the left hand. Wait a bit for the Magicka to, or Magicka to regen. Come on, Magicka, regen. Like I said, I really need to get some, uh... I really need to start getting some Magicka regen, uh, enchanted. I... Oh, excuse me, I just fucking burped. I've been burping, like, all day, like, ridiculously. Like, a lot more than usual. I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent, but... There you go. I've been burping a lot lately. A glimpse into the personal life of Snorlax891. I hope your minds can uh, can handle that. I hope I haven't overwhelmed you. I don't even remember what I was saying. Ooh, we got a scroll of uh, bleh. we got a scroll of Conjure Storm Atronach, so that should help us later on. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was saying. Um, I really need to get some alteration. I'm not some alteration. Ah, uh, God, I'm just messing everything up today. All my words. Words? What are these words of which you speak? I do not know them. I cannot produce them. I am not skilled enough. I have not reached this level of mastery to reproduce words. Oh, God. What I was tr Okay, what I was trying to say is that I hope that pretty soon we run into some... Magicka regen enchantments to increase our Magicka regen rate by like a ridiculous amount. Yeah, by the end of the game, I hope to 
I hope to have Magicka regen increased a ridiculous amount, like in the not too, in the not too distant future. Okay, he's staying. That she, it, that Draugr is hanging around back there, not bothering anybody. But once we get closer, ah, you can't touch me. I should probably let a uh, let them hit me at least once or twice uh, to train alteration. Just because that would be beneficial to me. But it's so uh, ingrained in my mind as a mage to like kite, kite your enemies and don't let them hit you. Again, like from the last episode, I'm going into third person. For like some odd reason. I don't know. It like doesn't really serve any purpose. Ooh, some gold. But I just seem to do it. Like. Is it just confirming that my guy is still still fully clothed? Like, does he have a problem remembering to to put clothes on before he walks out the door? Like, bye honey, I'm going adventuring. Put some clothes on, you streaker! You crazy bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Caligor's wife, which does not yet who does not yet exist, is from uh is from New Jersey. Uh, no offense to any of you if you are from New Jersey. I just, that's just the first accent that came to mind, so, so I ended up using it. Oh my god, this commentary is all over the place. It's probably all the fumes from these glowing mushrooms. Caligor, have you been sniffing glowing mushrooms while, we, while we haven't been looking? Is that what's going on? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a restless dragger up here, I remember. There he is, hiding behind that, uh, that brazier. I think we're gonna put, uh, healing back in the left hand. Get some frost going. Oh god. Take frost, butthole. And then we run, do a little blasting, then we run. I love Frost, the the fact that Frost slows down your enemies like this and drains their stamina. I love the fact, I love that. Like, was it last episode I said, uh, I asked you guys what your, your favorite element was? Yeah, I think it was last episode. So, uh, I asked what your uh, favorite element was, whether fire, frost, or lightning. Whether it was fire, frost, or lightning, rather. Um, I think I mostly tend to use fire when I play this game. But, uh, that's one of the reasons I decided to use frost for old Caligor here, because I don't use it as often. And it's, it's a fucking awesome element. I mean, don't get me wrong, frost is awesome. Like, later on when you get to, like, icy spear and... Ice spike and like the master and expert level frost spells like they they kick ass but i mean not that caligor caligor would know because he hasn't experienced them yet but i know but yeah frost is frost is awesome and i should i really should use it more often so yeah that's one of the reasons i decided that that's one of the reasons caligor decided that he would be a frost mage because he has heard tell, heard tell of the power of frost, and he wanted to experience it for himself. So let's re-armor. God, the the early armor spells run out so quickly. I can't wait till I get to a uh, till I get to dragon hide. That'll be fun. Master level alteration spells. Messing around with those. Here's another swinging blade trap. Oh, I tried to use. I'm an idiot. I just, I just hit the power button to try and sprint instead of actually sprinting. Ow. I probably should have just left that trap on. Ow. If I wasn't using my alteration spell right now, I'd be getting hit for a lot more. So, 
Thank goodness for alteration spells. Especially for mages that use uh, robes. Ooh, this guy's in a great position. Let's knock this down and burn the hell out of him. Burn the hell out of his buddy, too. Yep. Using the traps against the, the inhabitants. Using their own traps against them. Oh, did you guys see that? My alteration spell ran out, like, right as combat finished. Right as I finished fighting these guys. How awesome is that, huh? It's, it's, it's awesome, right? Right? Confirm its awesomeness! Oh yeah, this is... This is good. This commentary is, uh... It's starting to feel a lot more natural to me again. Like, like as I said, the more I... The longer it goes on, the more natural it starts to feel again. The more I get back into the swing of it. Uh, it, it just gets better and better. At least I think so. Get our oak flesh ready. Just in case we need it. Ah, uh, this, the Hall of Heroes. Some sort of puzzle. Gee, I wonder where the solution could be. Perhaps the solution is in the palm of your hand. Little uh, reference to the trailer there, if anybody remembers that. Oh, here's a question for you guys. Um, have you, has anybody gone back and like watched the trailer again recently? I know I, I know I sometimes like to, uh, like to go back and rewatch the trailer, but man, that trailer was awesome. Especially when it, uh, first came out, the trailer for Skyrim. I watched the hell out of that. And the, uh, I, I watched the hell out of any early gameplay hints, like, not hints, um, sneak peeks, that's the word, I was, that's, <laughs> that's the phrase I was looking for. I watched the hell out of the trailer and, uh, any little sneak peek videos they put out. Alright, here we've got the, the boss chamber. So, have you got, so do, have you guys, uh, the question is, have you guys gone back and watched the trailer recently, or like any early Skyrim gameplay? I would love to know. Should I do healing in the left hand or should we go dual frostbite? Um, I think for now we'll go frostbite healing. Train our restoration. Hit him while he gets up. Hit him while he's getting up. He's still groggy. He's like, oh, what the hell, man? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy knows, uh... As you can see, this guy knows Fusurada. It's not very... It's not the most powerful Fusurada. It's not like our Fusurada will be... Will become later in the game. Spoilers! But it does kind of... Jiggle us around a bit. Look how slow this guy is. Uh, this is. I should probably use this level up. And again, I'm putting it into magic, huh? Some of you guys might disagree with that, but like I said, I like to have a large pool of magic, huh? And uh, what should we do? What should we go into? I think this time we'll go into. You know, what? let's save the perk till after the battle. Let's save it till we have some uh, some more time to decide when we're not in imminent danger of getting our head chopped off. Ah, uh, oh, I was gonna say, ha, you missed me, but, uh, he hit me. So, oh, there he is. Oh, man, Wall of Frost is gonna be fun to get to. Can't wait to get to that. What you gonna do? Can't hit me. Can't even reach me, can ya? Jackass. Yeah, what you doing just stuck there? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll let you be stuck as much as you want. Die. Oh, this is a precarious situation. Oh, there he died from the frost on the ground. Uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Ooh, an artifact. What could this be? Caligoras thinking. I will take it for later research. Of course, I know what it is, and you guys most likely know what it is. But Caligora does not know what it is. 
Ooh, nice boots. We'll disenchant those later. Take the gold, we'll take the resist cold, and we'll take the sword, I guess. Check around, see if there's any more chests. Get up. Get up there, Caligor. I know you're old, but you can still jump. At least a little bit. Oh, that's embarrassing. I just broke a lock on a novice lock. Uh, novice lock chest. I think last video I said something about uh, breaking a lock on a novice on a novice lock chest. I meant uh, breaking a lock pick. For the record, I know. I know you would, it would be ridiculous if you used a, if you tried to use a lock to uh, to break open another lock. Like sitting there banging at it with a lock like open, open damn it, open. Okay, we'll take all these. Ooh, isn't it like a ooh, blah, 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 blah. can't talk too excited, can't talk. <laughs> petty soul gems, oh my god. Oh my god, petty soul gem. Oh god. But yeah, we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need a lot of soul gems as well. Alchemy ingredients, soul gems, enchanted items. We're gonna need them all. And like I said, hopefully we'll need hopefully we'll find some uh, uh, enchanted items with uh, ooh alchemy ingredients. Enchanted items with magicka region is what we need. Is what I'm trying to say. We need a. Uh, I'll probably wait to disenchant them until we get to slightly higher levels in uh in our magicka no in our enchanting because um, we'll get larger uh, benefits from them uh, you know what it's a it's a little bit of a debate uh, that I'm having with myself that I often have with myself too but particularly in this game, uh, there I am switching to third person again for no reason. If that breaks the immersion for you guys, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. But anyway, like I was saying, should I, and you guys can comment on this in the comment section as well, should I, A, wait till I'm a bit higher leveled before disenchanting things uh, with useful enchantments on them? so I can get greater benefits? Or B, should I disenchant early on so I can get some small benefits, but some smaller benefits, but small, but still benefits right away and make the earlier game easy, easier for me? Um, usually I tend to just disenchant right away. And, uh, hello there, dearie. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Yeah, usually I just intend... Bleh, just intend? Usually I tend to just disenchant items with any enchant on them, really. And especially uh, good enchants early on. Just so I can get their benefits. But I was... Like I said, I'm wondering if I should wait till later and disenchant later when I'm when I'll get larger benefits. But then there is the fact that my enchanting won't be as high, so I might not be able to get all of the benefit of the higher enchanted item that I disenchanted right away because of a low enchanting level, if that makes any sense to you guys. It makes sense in my head, okay? Hello, dear. Oop, Nern Root. I'm gonna go grab this. Make our way across the water. Oh, cold. Cold, 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 cold. Hopefully we'll... But we can, uh... We're close to Riverwood again now, so... We can, uh... We can move... Uh, go inside and... Sit by a nice warm fire. Have a nice warm meal. Read a book. Chicken jump! And, uh, Relax. So yeah, here we are back in Riverwood. We're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is return Lucan's claw to him and claim our just reward. And then we are going to return to Hot and Girder's house, 
We're going to prop our feet up. Show those thieves We're going not to, to steal from Luke and have Valerius. some wine. Read a book, maybe. I know I said I was going to read a book at the end of the last episode, but it didn't end up happening. But um, later on we'll be... Oh, by the way, I have the golden call. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Awesome. Anyway, as I was saying, I think in the future, um, I'm going to implement an idea that I borrowed from Damo. Uh, if any of you guys watch him, Damo2986. Fantastic Skyrim Let's Player and Let's Player of other games as well. Oh, that was a hawk. Oh, there's the episode timer, but I'm going to continue for just a few more minutes. Or really, seconds. But, uh, yeah, um... As we are traveling from place to place in this game, as I do not intend to use fast travel, that's sort of a, a crutch and a weakness that I fall into later on in some, when I'm playing on my own, I tend to fast travel all over the place and miss out on the experience of, uh, of walking. So yeah, let me get back on topic before I get too crazy. Before I go too off on too much of a tangent. Um, I don't intend to fast travel places, so as we're walking along to different places, I will implement an idea I took from Demo, and I will recite books that Caligor has read perhaps the previous night or you know at an earlier date is what I'm trying to say so anyway that's pretty much all the time we have for this episode um, next time we will be traveling to Whiterun to inform the Jarl finally that there is a dragon loose and he needs to send protection to Riverwood so Remember to leave a comment, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more if you en again if you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to up be uploading these episodes, but I'm shooting for around three videos uploaded a week now. So uh, I hope you guys will enjoy that, and I will see you guys in the future. Bye.